What up, what up, Synapse here. It is dusk here, so it's uh, quite dark, but I thought it would be a cool time to record a video anyway. Uh, I might have to make myself a little bit more visible. Here we go. Um, so what I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about is the fact that there is a sort of dark side of game, all right? And this is something that not a lot of people talk about, not a lot of um, instructors or whatever are, are going over, but I think it's something that you really do need to examine, really do need to think about, really do need to talk about when it comes to, you know, your progress overall and what things actually do work in some cases, all right? I'm gonna head over here and take a seat, hopefully by some light so that we can talk and you can see me a little bit better. Um, so what, do, what exactly do I mean by dark game? Well, essentially what dark game is, what dark game means, is the fact that sometimes women do not respond to all of this positive lovey-dovey stuff, um, all of the beautiful, you know, like, self-improvement, leave her better than you found her and, um, you know, always treat her right sort of behavior, right? Now, just as a caveat, I by no means am saying that you should ever mistreat women, right? But there is something to be said for the fact that the more attractive a woman is, by, by and large, the better society treats her. And because society treats her especially well, she responds very, very well to those people who don't treat her as well, right? Okay, now, what am I saying here? Does this mean that you should be a dick to girls? Well, not exactly. It's not exactly as simple as that, right? But I think there are some interesting cases to be made, some interesting thoughts to be explored in the fact that um, some women respond especially well to cases um, where guys are really manipulative, really controlling, really have a lot of those dark triad personality traits, you know, Machiavellianism and all of that guys who are, for example, serial killers or criminals, right, thugged out dudes, yakuza, tattooed guys, all these sort of, it's like taking bad boy, but bad boy to an extreme, like beyond bad boy. It's like bad man, just actual bad human being, bad person, all right? And so what is, uh, what is about this game? And then sort of the, the, the reason I decided to film this as it is, you know, day turning to night, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pretty cool moon over there. There we go. Got the moon in the shot. So there is a, a point at which this sort of behavior does become dark and just indefensible. All right. So if you're if you're being violent, you know, towards women, if you're doing anything overly aggressive. Um, it just isn't acceptable, you know, no matter how you slice it, even if they want it, all right? And it's tip it's tempting because you see a lot of guys fall into, uh, guys, guys who are really, you know, doing well with women fall into these behavior patterns, all right? So, and, it, and it's kind of a little bit like the force, all right? Now, this is a very, very uh, simplistic example, but bear with me here because I just saw uh, the new Star Wars movie. I'm not gonna spoil anything about the movie, but in the newer Star Wars movies, right, in the old school Star Wars movies, it's very simple, you know, there's the light side and the dark side and the light side, the Jedi are all um, good and, and just and the dark side is all evil and death and fear and anger and anger leads to hate and all that sort of stuff, right? Well, in one of the original, the original movies, they had Mace Windu, who, if you guys don't know a lot about the lore of Star Wars, Essentially, the Mace Windu is a is a is a good Jedi who channeled some aspects of the dark side um, in order to be one of the best duelists of all time with a lightsaber. All right. In other words, he he was able to in combat to touch upon and to grasp to channel the power of the dark side to achieve good purposes. All right. So now, what is the point here? All right. Uh, moving forward to the newer the newer uh, movies, The uh, Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, there's a sort of sense that the, the, the good side has failed us, all right? The, the, the light has failed us, or at least it is, is hiding, not, he's not showing all of the picture, right? And in some ways, the dark side, as it's characterized in the old movies, yeah, that's bad, but at the same time, there are some things there, there is power there, there is something there to understand, there's something there to learn from, all right? So, in the newer movies, 
there is a little bit of a sense of this marriage or a reunion between the dark and the light to come together and create some sort of a, a new synthesis that neither you know, subscribes to 100% light or 100% dark, all right? Now, if you go back to the original mystery method type stuff, it's very routine-y, very much, um, the, the overall vibe was, let me hook up with this girl, let me, let me do the actions, to t take the certain actions that she will find attractive in order to hook up with her before she realizes that I'm not, you know, who I say I am. In other words, it was sort of like a sneaky way of copulation. It was, in some ways, manipulation. So it sort of deserved a little bit of the bad name it got for it. And then you had a big swing in the Western pickup community towards self-help, self-development, right? Becoming a better person and leaving women, you know, better than you found them and all of this type of stuff. And that was really good and really, you know, important to kind of balance out that dark side of game that, that originally uh, was there with mystery and all of that. Um, but now what you have is you have a lot of the pickup movement in general sort of going really off the edge into only self-development and only purity without touching into sort of the darker side of things and how in some ways um, influence, right, whether that is in diplomacy, whether it's in business, in warfare, or in love, it influence is not necessarily only a light side behavior, right? There is a lot of power to be found within um, channeling sort of dark energies. Now, of course, it is the danger and the caveat is it is extremely easy to slip over into being a just a bad human being, all right? And this is what I want to caution you guys upon because if you, if you embark on this journey of game, you will run into lots of examples of poor behavior. Poor behavior of guys, right, out and about as, you know, if they're in the club, guys, you'll see them dragging, you know, women into taxis who are, who are totally unconscious. Uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's crazy, right? If you're out at four in the morning, you'll see sort of the deplorable side of guys trying to pick up chicks. And that's not, that's not to say that these guys are guys who are gamers or who are, who are watching these kinds of videos because a lot of times they're not and that's why they aren't calibrated in the way that they're pulling these girls. But I wanted to caution you guys here because it's really difficult, right, to find the right balance, right? On one hand, if you're super nice, super gentle, and always very, very honest, you're going to kind of sell yourself short. You're going to not achieve the highest results you possibly can. On the other hand, if you're extremely manipulative, if you get angry at girls, if you get, you know, aggressive towards girls, you're also not going to be achieving the, the, the highest you know, that you can, right? If you're looking at women, you're saying, oh, these, these feminists are destroying the world or whatever it might be, you're gonna start having a really dark outlook on life. And this is why I, I sort of don't really vibe with people who are super like MRA or, or red pill. I can understand from like a legal perspective, it sucks being a guy these days where, you know, women essentially have the default, uh, you know, the women can say whatever they want and you, you essentially are, are um, you know, you're shit out of luck, whether it's your, your kid or whether it's a, something that happened after dark, the guy is basically not believed these days, and so that sucks, right? But the flip side is that you, you can't go too far off that edge where you, you end up like a bitter, depressed, you know, men, like the men going their own way, all the all those sort of people. You have to be really careful um, delving into those energies because it can start to turn into seeing yourself as a victim, seeing yourself as a victim of circumstance, and you know, as 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 inferior to women in a certain way, cutting yourself off from women in general, right? Rather than opening yourself up to women, even though they, in some cases, are manipulative, some cases are uh, deceitful, right? very often actually, right? Whether the, well, they'll make a plan and then not honor the plan, um, they'll say one thing and then do another, right? I think it's very easy for people in these days to point the finger at men as being the bad ones who are, you know, corrupting women. They sort of give women a big pass on the fact that they do have rather shitty behavior a lot of the times, right? So all I, all I wanna say as it's now, um, you know, Twilight, as it's now getting dark, here is that, is that there is a nice middle ground, which is why it's perfect um, at this time of night. There's a nice middle ground between light and dark where there is 
power, but not quite enough darkness to make it evil, not quite enough darkness to actually be harmful to people or um, leave people with bad tastes in their mouth, while at the same time not being so light as to be spineless, right? Not being as so light as to see the world through rose-colored glasses and ignore a lot of the fact that the world is not all sunshine and you know smiles right there is darkness there there are there are things to be considered in in the realm of game or in the realm of influence in the realm of um, you know seduction which may not necessarily be 100% positive 100% shiny 100% um, light as it were okay so that's that's one side of things which I think is not entirely discussed by a lot of people who are in the pickup community who are talking very very much in terms of self-development in terms of light-sidedness and I generally tend towards this time of type of stuff when I'm posting stuff in public just because people get really angry people get really angry people get really offended people get really upset these days based on what um, you say they think you're 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 threatening their lifestyle or whatever right the lynch mob on social media is real right and while most of the time what people say has no effect most of the time the people who hate um, are people who hate in you know from the comfort from the from from the safety of their side of the keyboard right they're never actually going to say anything to my face and I, it's been confirmed essentially that a lot of these people are extreme cowards so it's the same with any anything however the lynch mob on social media is real um so it's something that you know that i'm not going to delve into super much on my youtube channel but it's something that i do that is a part of game that is something to consider right and Maybe I'll talk about it more in a slightly more private channel or something. All right, guys, let me know what you think. What do you think about Dark Game? What is Dark Game? Um, is there power in the darkness, or should we always be the stoic and faithful and honest and straightforward, pure souls of warriors of the light, the Jedi, as it were? Or is there some synthesis to be had, something interesting to be explored in the penumbra, the space between the light and the dark. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are and see you guys next time.